Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to take you guys through my club, basically like a club tour and a squad, my end game squad review for FIFA 19. I don't anticipate myself making any changes to this squad, especially after the red picks I got today in Foot Champions Rewards. I finally got a couple usable red picks that I'm excited to try as super subs. Uh, Salah Red from Gold 3 and Allen. Of course, the Red Gold 3 Salah. So many people have gotten it this year, and I finally got it from Gold 3 this weekend. Uh, but this is basically my endgame squad. Um, I'm focused on the starting players, um, and I just want to kind of take you guys through my journey of FIFA this year as well, and we'll take a look at the, um, the club as well. Some of the Team of the Season cards that we have kept that we haven't rinsed into SBC, some of my best pack pulls. Uh, that I've kept throughout the year as well. So well, I want to start with the squad here. Um, it's about half untradeable and half tradable. And I built this squad um, about, I'm going to say it was during Ultimate Tots. A little bit, yeah, around Ultimate Team of the Season, I bought most of these players uh, because I had all my coins. I had like 11 million coins ready to go. And I said, I want to buy my team and finally buy a team. Uh, because during Ultimate Tots was when I actually moved into this new place. I'm, I'm sure you guys have seen the background changed a lot behind me. Before that, I didn't really play a lot of Weekend League. Um, my teams were mostly made up of some untradeable cards from La Liga. I have a lot, lot, a lot of La Liga special cards in my club, and that's what I used uh, as my main team. But when I moved here and I got faster internet and I was focused on playing the game a lot more, um, then I, I actually felt the need to have a good team. So I went out and I bought these guys. I wanted to have Mbappe, I wanted to have Neymar, and this is what I settled with on a formation and with chemistry working out perfectly. I wanted to do the, wanted to do the 4 5 one because I knew Cruyff and Balak were in my endgame squad. That would allow me to play any striker and it would help me a lot with a CDM. Um, and in game, I go to a 4 one 2 one 2 Balak CDM. Uh, Cruyff actually plays left center mid where he's actually very good there, but it take, took me a bit to get used to him. Uh, but the tradable cards in the squad, Mr. Cristiano Ronaldo, team of the season. I bought him from, for 3.2 million coins during footies. Uh, so I've had this card the least amount of time. He's got 50 games played, 34 goals, 21 assists. Unbelievable card. Um, ridiculous card. This I've had this Neymar card for a lot more time. I bought him again during the end of team of the season. 252 games played, 149 goals. 101 assists. He plays center attacking mid. Mbappe plays right striker. 252 games, same as Neymar. 151 goals, 105 assists. So their stats are basically identical playing up top together. Cruyff uh, played Cam for me for a long time, but now he's moved back to uh, center mid and his stats have dropped a lot. But he is a monster at first time shots. I love this card. He's unbelievable. Uh, Mateus at right center mid is a beast as well. I love him. He's in the squad for chemistry reasons. I need an icon here to get Militao on full chem, which was very necessary. So he plays great. Balak I've had for a long time. I did his SBC during the middle of the year. 756 games played for him. Fantastic player. And then moving on to the bench. Obviously, I haven't used Salah or Allen yet. I just packed them today. I did the Maldini SBC. He is very good. I like to play Cannavaro instead of Maldini just because... Uh, Cannavaro, I don't know, he just does it for me. I've had Cannavaro for 590 games, did his SBC in the middle of the year. He's been uh, phenomenal for me. Legit, my controller just died while recording that. But yes, I love Cannavaro. Um, Militao is a player that I did buy with coins. I do love this card, 86 games played. Haven't used him a ton, but he's insane. Sandro did the flashback SBC when it came out during uh, Calcio A team of the season. 317 games played, Lala as well. I love this right back card. Phenomenal card. Moving on to the bench. Pax is a lot out of my Twitch Prime pack. Uh, I, do, I haven't used him a ton. This Lewandowski is, we, we're going to go through the club tour here in a second. This is my best untradeable team of the season poll. I packed him for my Tots upgrade, the fourth one. That was sick. Goretzka I've used for a while. He's very good. He's one of my favorite super subs. Same thing with Lozano. He's good. Obviously, you see Pogba. These Sterling and Van Dyke cards are from the most recent version of their SBC's re release. Um, so let's get into the club. That's my team, basically. Um, it is a very good team. It's If we go over here on Flipbit and check it out, it is right now a valued on the market at about 20 million coins on Xbox. Obviously, you've seen this insane rise after footies ended. That's just the way it is uh, in the last seven days. 
But uh, this team definitely, during the more high times of the year, even before footies, this team would have been probably a lot more than that. Because if you, you got guys like Ronaldo that are now 5 million coins, he was this card was like 8 or 9 mil after Ultimate Tots between that time frame and footies. Neymar was like 5 mil at that time. He's now like 3. So a lot of cards, these cards have dropped. But right now, currently is valued at 20 million coins, the team itself, in terms of every player on that team. Uh, in value so I'm gonna go with special and we're gonna go from we're gonna go from high to low and uh, start start at the actually yeah we'll start at the we'll start at the back we'll start at the back um, and skip through the cards that we don't want to see and then we'll work our way up to the front of the untradeables so uh, basically starting here at the back of my club I have a couple informs and stuff left over this Sergio Asenjo card I packed him from silver one rewards early on in team of the year uh, this year FIFA from the team of the week 617 games played. This card is unreal. If I wasn't using Militao, I used Ramos for a lot of the year. And this Sergio Asenjo red card, I'm sure a lot of you guys watching my videos saw it in my team. He was ridiculous for me. Such a good keeper. I never even wanted to get De Gea because that card was so good. The Sissoko SBC I did for, uh, as I'm a Tottenham fan, had to throw that in there. A lot of these cards I packed during footies. Yep, Douglas Costa was packed during footies. Now we get to some of the team of the season pulls. I did pack Wijnaldum. Um, I packed him during Premier League Tots, and then I packed this one again from a Tots upgrade. Same thing with Sule. This red Yao Fel Jao Felix card, um, this one actually came from a Foot Champions upgrade. The premium Foot Champions upgrade is where this card came from. Um, I was stoked to get him. I've only used him four games, haven't used him much, but I'm excited to watch him play this next year for Madrid, Atletico Madrid. But that was a very nice surprise out of that SBC. This is the re-release Marcus Alonso. Haven't used this card this year, three games. Neto at love and goal, 114 games. Haven't used these guys really. And then we have a bunch of team of the season cards that I haven't used that are just kind of chilling in the club. I have this 91 Godin, untradeable, zero games played. I packed a 91 Godin from um, Foot Champions rewards like gold three early on in the year when this card was in team of the week. I packed him untradeable from actually the rivals portion of the rewards. And I used I used this Godin card for literally like 400 games. I I paired him up with that um, Senjo that I had in gold, the red Senjo and, and Ramos. Um, so I had those guys in my back line for a long time. This, he was a very good card in the game, especially early on. Flashback Ibra, 150 games, was a great super sub for me at one point in the year. This right here was probably my best pack pull of FIFA 19. I don't know if, if you guys remember this pack pull. Say something in the chat. If you remember me packing this card, untradeable, during the FFS promo, this changed the game for me. It honestly changed the game. Because uh, before I had, I had a decent team and I had a La Liga team, but this man went into the team and he was ridiculous. Uh, Vinicius Jr. Future Stars. I packed him out of an upgrade pack during uh, Foot Future Stars, the promo. 442 games played, 230 goals. He's become a super sub now and he honestly doesn't come in. But this, I will never forget that pack pull because he was about 2 million coins at the time when I packed him. So that was ridiculous and insane pack pull there. The Bale SPC re-release. Obviously, Goretzka and Lozano you saw on the team. Kimpembe, Richarlison, this card's very good. It destroys me in Weekend League. Uh, Desai was an SBC that I did. Haven't even used the card, but just did the SBC because I had the card in the club to do it. It's Fabian. I used Fabian because I did Mertens, which you'll see in the squad in a second, or the club. And he was a decent card. He was okay. Da Costa I never used. The Goat, Cannavaro. Fernandinho I used. 51 games played. I had a Premier League squad after Premier League Tots that I used him in for a decent amount of time. Alexandro, David Alba, this card's very good. Savonier, never used him. Izzo, Ben Yedder, this one's actually never used, but I packed this guy three times. The first time I packed him was from La Liga Tots, guaranteed. That was a, that was a nice pull. Red De Gene, which is an okay card, I guess. Bernardo Silva, uh, this card is insane in the game. Um, I feel like a card like this could be very good in FIFA 20 um, from playing the beta. And I know I'm not supposed to talk about that, but that's my quick two cents there. Robertson, I use this card. He's very good. I started using Sandro after his SBC came out, but this card I used for a while and he was good. Jao Cancelo, I didn't use much. Six games, haven't used him too much. Bruno Fernandez is good. I had another version of him 
that I packed. Red Sarabia from last week, gold two. Cruyff, obviously, we looked at in the team. And then I used this SBC Ramos for a while, 215 games. I used him and Asenjo. I love this Ramos card. He's very good for me. A lot of people use that card during the year. He was a beast. Um, Mertens did the SBC. Used him for a while, 65 games played. He was good. Marquinhos, never used him. Um, Awar, beast of a card as well, 58 games played, super sub. Fernando Torres. Now, I thought this card was going to be a joke right away when I got it, but people were saying that he was so good, and I was rocking that 4-5-1 formation. So I used him up top in that team that I have currently now where Ronaldo is. I used Fernando Torres for like a week, a couple weekend leagues basically, and he was solid. He was really solid on first-time shots. This Paul Bacard is beast. 44 games played. Um, Alejandro Gomez haven't used him. Chiellini used a couple times. Another version, I packed this card from an upgrade during footies. Um, Kimmich, I used him a little bit earlier in the year with Goretzka. Uh, obviously, I packed that card again, but he was good. Cool Bali. I never could get him in a team, so I never used him, but that was a sick red pull from um, Gold 1 Rewards, I believe. And now we get into the really top tier stuff. As you see, Hazard, Sterling, Griezmann, those SBCs. The red Salah, which is by far my best red, and I just got it. Um, and you don't see a lot of reds in here because I don't play a ton of weekend league. I literally started playing weekend league during um, during the end of the year, during like team of the season um, ultimate. Like ultimate tots is when I started playing weekend league. So I never had the chance to accrue a lot of red cards this year which is going to change next year i'll be able to play weekly more often um and then of course this Lewandowski pack pull which is this is my best pack pull in terms of high rating untradeable during fifa 19. i have used this card he is very good um i want to use him more to be honest um i want to use him more but he is a beast card he is very very good um so that's kind of my untradeable club for fifa 19. i have a lot of tots cards that i haven't used um uh, like this Gomez, the Marquinhos, I could easily use some of those guys, um, but I have no desire to, man, because with this main team that I have, yeah, I'll try a few players here and there, but this main team that I have, uh, I just can't stop using this team, man. This team is so good, and I've worked so long this year to get these players in the team, that it just feels good to have them. It just feels good to have these players and finally be able to use them and uh, have an OP squad and, and uh, to have a good team like this. So... Hopefully you guys have your end game teams as well. I did that video a couple weeks ago about, or earlier this week, about reviewing your end game squads. That was really cool. But I wanted to make a video for you guys talking about my end game squad and looking through my club. Um, that is what I have been able to amass this year, being a top 100 trader. I don't know if I'm still top 100, to be honest. I was on the verge of dipping out because I haven't traded in literally like three months. I'm hanging on by a thread. I am number 100. So I can still say I'm a top 100 trader. <laughs> um, but that is what your club can look like. 79 million uh, TP right there is probably what I'll end the year on. Maybe I'll hit 80. Who knows? We'll see. Um, but that is basically my end of FIFA 19 club tour. You're not going to see a lot of stuff change. I have 300,000 coins. Nothing new is coming out in FIFA. Uh, did we even get marquee matchups today? Did we even get marquee matchups today? We did. Wow. They gave us marquee matchups. Cool. Thank you, EA. But this game is basically done for, and I wanted to kind of summarize my FIFA 19 with you guys in terms of the team, in the terms of the club, all right? So that's what I wanted to show you guys today. Um, we will probably do some more videos in terms of trading stuff, looking back at FIFA 19 and how that went and all that kind of stuff. So you'll see those videos uh, here soon. But enjoy your last days of FIFA 19, whether that be by not playing at all, by playing a little bit, or by... Um, just looking at your, your end game squad and enjoying and looking at your progress and your success that you've had during the year. I'm still playing Weekend League, playing the Gold 3, just because I can stream with you guys. Check my link down below if you have not caught my stream yet. Twitch.tv backslash the foot account. I'm there streaming Weekend League and a couple times during the week as well. But thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys for supporting me this year. It's been a long year. It's been a massive year for me. Um, in terms of transfer profit, in terms of the quality of the team, the number of coins that I've had. It's been just a crazy, crazy year for me in terms of growth, in terms of a trader. And it's been fun making the YouTube videos for you guys as well. That's going to continue into FIFA 20. 
Um, but for you guys that have uh, supported me and helped me through this year and watched my videos and chatted with me and all that kind of stuff, thank you guys for all that again this year. Much love for you guys. I appreciate it so very much. Onwards and upwards for FIFA 20. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. If you have your end game teams, link me down below in the description if I have not seen them. I would love to see them. And of course, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.